guys welcome to the channel india budgets here and today you guys i will be cash stuffing my paycheck number one of june so if you would like to see how i stuff these envelopes stay tuned to this video and as you know i like to start out with my cash envelope binder this is lady lav here and we are gonna stuff groceries so Groceries still have a pretty good amount of money in here, but I'm going to leave the money in here and add $25 to groceries. And the reason groceries still have money in here is because my sister was in town last week and she decided to um, take my mother and I grocery shopping. So I was able to keep the money that I already had saved. So I'm just going to continue to let that build up. What am I doing? Let me count it for y'all. So groceries has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 55, 60. So there's $160 in groceries. So that's good. And it's going to be enough, hopefully. All right. So gas still has uh, money in here. And I'm not going to stuff gas. And then laundry, if you remember from my last cash stuffing video um i put two i pretty much doubled the laundry payment so this is the next laundry um amount that i need so i'm not going to stuff laundry this time either and next is eat out and eat out is going to get forty dollars so 20 40. so eat out now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40 dollars. So 140 dollars in eat out. So that's good because you guys know eat out is that one envelope for me. So there's that. This here is called spinny, spin and spin. So this envelope, I just recently created it after my last video. And this is just going to be an envelope that I use for like miscellaneous purchases. Um, normally when I would like buy things, I would take the money out of India. But I created a spendy, a spinny <laughs> envelope. So this money will just be whatever comes up that needs to be purchased that I don't want to use the money in India for. So Spinny is going to get $50. So we're going to put $50 in Spinny. All right. And then my rollover um, is not going to get anything this time around. So that is it for my cash envelope binder. So now we're going to move into Rainbow. All right. So... How is everyone doing? Hope all is well with everyone. I've actually been pretty good. Um, everything has just been going smoothly. So I'm super grateful for that because things are really, really busy um, a few weeks ago and now they're starting to slow down. So it's like I could kind of like get back into the groove of things. Um, so yeah, excited about that. So Harlem is going to get her $25. So let's do a 20 and a 5. So Harlem now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 500, 510. So Harlem has $510. So she is actually doing really well. I think her envelope has more money than India. So, wow. All right. So now travel. Travel is going to get $150. Yes, y'all. Beefing it up. <laughs> All right. So travel is going to get $150. So travel now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 
dollars $900, $1,000. So $1,000 to take with me to Vegas. And speaking of travel, so uh, one of my friends that I'm going to Vegas with, she mentioned that there is a jazz fest uh, in Cabo, I believe. And I want to say it's in November, but I'm not 100% sure. And she seems super excited about it. She really, really wants to go. So I may be, when I come back from Vegas, I may be stuffing this more to do that. But um, for those of you who do not know, I really do enjoy traveling. I like to travel and go different places, do different things. So um, Vegas is going to be the first trip that I take. And then I think in August, I don't have anything. I'll probably just go to the down to the coast or something. And then September, I'm supposed to go to LA. And then October, my cousin is getting married down in Texas. So we'll probably go do that. And then November is supposed to be the Cabo thing. So we will see how all of this travel situation stuff goes. Um, but I really want to be mindful and use my envelopes, so we'll see. All right, next is car maintenance. And car maintenance is going to get $50. And car maintenance now has $100, $200, $300. Oh, wow. I didn't know that it had $300. Okay, so car maintenance has $300. So what that means is... I am probably going to um, stop stuffing car maintenance because, as you know, I just recently got an oil change and my tires are still pretty good. So I don't think there's going to be any work that I really need to do to my car um, going forward. So I think car maintenance is pretty much done. So that's exciting. I was thinking of doing it to 500, but I think three is just cool for now. And then maybe we could just like you know, put little um, bits of money in there every now and again. All right, so next is gifts. And gifts is also going to get $50. So gifts now has 50, 100, 20, 25, 26. So gifts have $126. Okay. Personal development is going to get $40. And I was actually thinking about um, going um, on the Eric Thomas. So I don't know if anyone here knows Eric Thomas, but he is a motivational speaker, aka the hip hop preacher. And I really do enjoy listening to Eric Thomas and the S2S podcast with Carl CJ and Jamal so they do every year um they do like a cruise getaway um where they invite um their followers to come on a cruise and they have like they do a live podcast from the cruise they have like special dinners where you can you know have dinner with the team they do motivational talks there's like morning sessions night sessions there's an all-white party and it always sounds so amazing. And they go to really cool um, countries. And next year, they're doing it April 2022. And next year, they are going to Punta Cana. And I was like, oh, I so want to go to Punta Cana. Um, the only thing is that it's a little spendy. Um, it's about, I think, all in all to have the full experience I, when I looked it up, it was about a little bit over $5,000. So I don't know if I'm ready to make that commitment just yet um, because, you know, I'm still paying off debt and then I still have some other trips. Um, so I'm just hoping to use, you know, to like continue to build up my personal development to be able to, you know, attend functions and things like that, um, that, you know, that are like, will help with my personal development. So uh, as good as it sounds to go to Punta Cana, I might have to miss out on this one too um, until further notice. So personal development now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, $500 exactly. 
So that's good. And then also my business mentor, um, she wants to do a homecoming. And I think that would be a little bit more affordable. And I would love to meet her. So I'm really looking to do um, her homecoming for the organization or the group that I'm in in Facebook is called Black Pretty and Paid, if you've ever heard of it. It's a really, really awesome group of women, um, Black entrepreneur women. Um, from There's women in there that sell anything from lashes up to um, how to, you know, build your um, social media accounts. So it's a lot of very smart, intelligent, hardworking um, Black women in there. So it's it's a really, really good group to be a part of. So I may go to that homecoming um, that she has for Black Pretty and Paid. So yeah, I'm excited about that. So I'll probably use money for my personal development for that. So instead of travel, because it's kind of like personal development because she's my business mentor. But next is vending. And vending is not going to get anything this time around. So I will not be stuffing vending. Um, but there is still work that needs to be done for vending. Thanksgiving, as you know, this is capped out at its $200. So Thanksgiving will not be getting stuffed either. And then Christmas is going to get $103. So Christmas, $103. So Christmas now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 410, 415, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So Christmas has $420. I believe um, that the majority of this money will be enough to cover um, the family I plan on adopting for Christmas through the um, DV Women's Shelter that I reached out to last year and adopted the family on, um, with. So now we're just trying to stuff money for um, gift cards as Christmas presents for the kids because the kids are like getting older and it's just best to let the kids go and purchase what they want to buy. All right, so now we are on to my Under the Sea binder. And India is going to get $100. All right, so India gets $100. So India now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and $5. Oh, $10 behind Harlem. All right, so 505, that is amazing. All right, so next is debt, and debt is going to get $250. And you guys, I just wanted to give a shout out to um, a few YouTubers. Um, Bell's Budgets, I believe is her name. Um, she's super, super sweet. Love her channel. And there's another woman um whose channel i love her energy but i can't think of her whole name it's like save chops something i'm sorry for butchering your name sis but she has a lot of like really good videos her vibe is just through the roof and i just want to say thank you because she did give me a shout out in one of her recent cash stuffing videos so i appreciate you and, you know, just shout out to everyone in the budgeting community. Everyone is doing really, really good. There was a moment where I was like looking through and I was like, where are some of the individuals that I used to watch? Like, are individuals not posting? Um, and then the video started popping up. So I don't know if YouTube just unsubscribed me just randomly from people's channels, but um, I'm glad to see a lot of people that I used to watch, um, I can like see their videos now or I had to uh, resubscribe to their channel. But one lady I can't find and let me know if anybody used to follow her or know anything about her. But I used to watch um, a lady, her name was Journey to, 
I want to say it was Journey to Peace, but I'm not 100% sure. But I don't see her videos anymore. And she used to always have like her kids in her videos with her sometimes. Um, I believe her name is Harriet, but I could be wrong. But if anyone else followed her um, channel or know where she went, like I hope everything is well with her. But it's like she was posting videos and all of a sudden she wasn't there anymore. So, but yeah, um, hope all is well with Harriet. And big ups to everyone in the budgeting community. Like, I enjoy watching everyone's videos. I be up late watching the videos. So, like, sometimes I don't comment because it's so late. But I just decided now. I'm just like, whatever. They'll see the comments eventually. So, anywho. $250 goes into our debt payoff. And we are going to pay this debt off this year seriously and i'm also going to do a um money saving challenge in august which i'm super excited about doing all right so beauty is going to get ten dollars okay so beauty now has 150 60 61 62 so Beauty has $162, which is awesome. So just out of curiosity, what shows are you all watching? The other day I was, I had already recorded this video, you guys. And I went through to edit the video and it was trash heat. <laughs> It was so trash. I don't know what was going on with me. It just like, I wasn't feeling it at all. And so I decided that I was going to redo it. So this is the <laughs> remake video. But anywho, um, when I was going through the video and editing it, I was watching um, Siesta Key because for whatever reason, Chicago Fire and Chicago PD just do not come on regular channels no more. So every time I go to watch it on Wednesdays, it's always like, sorry, try again. And it's never there. So it's like I had to watch Siesta Key. And I don't know if anybody else here used to watch like The Hills, but I used to love The Hills back in the day. So I kind of feel like Siesta Key is similar to that. It's just the location is different because The Hills was like, LA, Siesta Key is Siesta Key, you know, beaches, things like that. But it's a pretty interesting show. So let me know down in the comments what everyone is watching and or what you're binge watching. Um, I actually did a binge watch of The Office because The Office is so awesome to me. <laughs> I love that show. All right. So now health is not getting stuff this time around. And my emergency fund is going to get $30. All right, so emergency fund, $30. So now our emergency fund has 1,150, $70, $90, $1,200. So emergency fund has $1,200, so that's good. All right, moving right along. School is going to get $10. And you guys, school starts on Monday. Last term, y'all. Last term. So crazy. Like, it's just amazing how far I've come and everything that I've been through to even be able to get to this point. Like, working multiple jobs crazy long hours like paying for the school out of pocket like it was just a lot like going up and down in terms like taking a term and then having to take another term off so i could save up the money to pay for school and then i really just focused and was like i'm gonna go through school the whole year no breaks and then i did it and i was able to get on like payment plans every time um every term and now I'm here on my final term, you guys. And it is just, it's a weird, it's a really weird feeling. And I think it's just more so because it's like one of those things that like when it's done for me, it's going to be like, dang, India, like you really did it like on your own. That's crazy. And you know, it's like all the long hours and the multiple jobs and stuff. It's like, 
really like this is what I do everything that I do for so that was just a little 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 soft moment but so yeah I'm excited last term and then it's on to a university the big dogs so school now has 100 200 310 ah statistics y'all y'all know my last term is statistics so we gonna see we gonna see all right next is household and household is also going to get ten dollars so Household now has $50, $65. So $65 in household. All right. And the next envelope is actually a new envelope that I created. This is my Bath and Body Works candle sale envelope. For those of you who are like me and are obsessed with candles, love candles, and everything candles. <laughs> Um, Bath and Body Works always have a candle sale. I believe it's in December, and that's when their candles go from $24.95 to $9.95. And when I tell you the lines be so long, and you would think that they was like releasing the new hottest thing, but the candles are so expensive that you know, when it's time when they go below $10, it's just like a madhouse. And so last year. I went a little crazy and I think I went to three different Bath and Body Works, you guys. Three different stores to get candles. Crazy. I know. So I want to be a little bit more prepared this year because I stock up at the candle sale and then I don't have to use candles. I don't have to buy again till the next candle sale. So we are going to stuff the Bath and Body Works candle sale envelope with $10. So we are getting prepared. I think I want to put uh, $200 in here just to be on the safe side. But we'll see how it goes. And next is another new envelope that I created. And this is the B-Day trip envelope. So my brother and I, we share a birthday. Um, he's actually going to be 40 next year uh, when our birthday come around. And he hasn't traveled a lot. So I think it'd be really, really cool to do like a destination birthday so I'm starting to plan that. I do not have a plan. So, excuse me, this is going to get $50. So at this moment, I do not have a plan for the birthday. Um, I would love to go to Jamaica, but I don't want to put that pressure on my siblings to hurry up and get their passports. So I was thinking maybe like Miami or Atlanta or somewhere, you know, I, somewhere cool because my siblings haven't been anywhere. So I think anywhere I choose would be good to go. Um, so if you guys have any ideas of where, what would be a good place for a guy to vibe out that's turning 40, please leave the comments down below. Um, I'm super excited because like I said, my brother hasn't really been anywhere and I love to travel. So I just love to share those experiences with um, family and friends. So with that being said, you guys, that completes my paycheck one of june envelope cash stuffing thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel i'm noticing that my channel continues to grow so thank you to everyone um, who is subscribing to the channel appreciate all the love and support and with that being said y'all already know i'll catch y'all in the next video bye